Hello and welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival. My name is Spange. We're picking right up from where we left off in the last episode, and that is we were just about to exit this one-way door. With all the warning signs all over it, I don't think Raven could make it any clearer. This is a one-way exit. Uh, once we go out of here, we have no way of getting back, and this is probably uh, the safest place. This little room right now is probably the safest place here on this world, on this map. Um, <laughs> although he's saying that, you know, well, I'm going to swap these medium armors out. I thought I did this last time. Maybe I missed some. There we go. The only drama is, is of course, that, well, um, you know, we can't make any food or anything like that. Okay. So, uh, you know, it's, it's safe until we start starving to death. <laughs> okay. Uh, so this is the map. Now, if we head in a south uh, easterly sort of direction, we, we get out of Zirax territory the quickest. Um, but I honestly don't know. Obviously, I'm not going to look. We're here to find out. But there is also the edge of the Xerax territory to the north east as well. Uh, heading the west side, I guess yeah, there's a border there as well. I suppose it doesn't really matter what direction we go in. At this point, it is completely and utterly hot luck as to what we find when we leave here uh outside temperature uh as it was before it's still minus 51 uh the, the sun or you can call it the sun is setting in three three minutes more like six minutes or so so i think that's probably as warm as it's going to get now there are geothermal vents out there somewhere but i, I you know I just can't see them from this map so we just again hot luck so uh, enough waffling and rabbling and stuff like that. We are going to venture for the door has closed. We are out. There is a drone Man, I could use some night vision I see some, uh, see some Xeraxian scumbags already There's level 8 Xerax time for this guy His a uh, tough little cookie uh, This is the sort of thing that we're going to be up against I think uh, out in the wild here no more loot crates to, you know, keep us going, as it were. Jesus, that's two clips. I mean, I know a lot of the bullets are probably missing because of the range I'm at. Even still, that's a lot. Ripper dogs out here at level 10. Wow, okay. I thought everything was... Whoa! Where is he? I mean... Oh! Oh, okay. <laughs> I get shot by uh, the rocket uh, drone that's out there. And now this Ripper Dog has finally figured it out. Oh, good old box clipping right there. Ow, okay. Okay. <laughs> it's like that, is it? Yeah, the clipping issues on this. Clipping the, the drone, I think, is right above me now. He's moved, sort of, sort of moved on, as it were. Um, ah, I'm going to hit him down there. We're going to need to keep healing. There's one of the moons. That it's a sign, ladies and gentlemen. That is the direction we need to go. Uh, also, by the distinct lack of Xerax in that direction, I'm very much tempted to go in that direction. We're too cold already. Um, Okay, have I got any hot beverages? I do. We're going to need those instead of the food, I suspect. I can't make any more. Hello, mate. All right, okay. Uh, I think the longer I sit here, the, the more in danger I am of, of just getting cold. So I need to hit these uh, hot beverages every time my temperature dips down. They will take it back up temporarily. Ooh. Get down. Okay, we gotta go. I've gotta go because that that drone is just gonna come round at some point, and uh, you know whatever, however long I take here is is just gonna eat away at the health, oxygen, temperature, everything I've got. Again, I don't know how this is translating into YouTube world, ladies and gents. This is bloody dark. <laughs> this is whoa, boy. Okay, we are we are running and gunning, people. Yeah, that drone is on me. 
He is on me and he's catching up. I'm gonna have to use these rocks as cover. But there's a couple of these big big boys following me as well. Or little boys, whatever you want to call them, I don't know. Hello. He's level ten. Not quite dead. The drone has lost sight of me, so he's he's turned around now. Where does that ripper dog? Where did he go? I've got to kind of take him out. Hi! <laughs> Right, I am so low on energy. Have I got uh, energy drinks? No, but there goes my stamina again. I've got to keep an eye on that drone because if he starts shooting at me, I am not going to hear it, see it, or nothing until it's way too late. Stamina is just... It's just toast. I see a Xerax. That's the direction I'm trying to go in, and he is in the way. Hello. Oh, hello. I found a box. Now, there were some boxes outside the old ship back there, but I'm just not in a position right now to deal with it. Uh, this is a shotgun. It's not going to help me. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Don't die. Don't die. Do not die. Not here. Oh, God. Okay. My priority has just been dictated to me. No, you don't, Plasma Drone. Get down. Again. Uh, have adrenaline. <sighs> Give me that stamina. Come on, I need to move. I need to move, move, move. There's another Xerax there. I need to carry on in my northeasterly trajectory. That's the direction I was trying to go. That's a minigun Xerax. <sighs> Damn it. Oh, hi. <laughs> How you doing, boys? Whoa. Okay, I am pinned between four dogs and two Xerox troopers. Oh dear. Die. I need a copy. Good time. <laughs> Get on the floor. Uh, eat it, I guess. Holy crap, they are closing in. Oh, great. Ah, uh, I need to get out of this damn Xerox territory and quicker the better. Get on the floor. Next. Get on the floor. Drink that, don't need that. Have we got any more copies on me? Have I looted any more? I don't think so. Okay. Temperature is good. Moving on. Temperature is 45 degrees. It's actually warmed up a bit. Uh, northeast. Let's go. Xerax there. I'm hoping I'm going to avoid him. Gravity and stuff on this planet is quite harsh. Anything on the old scanner yet? Can we see anything? Keep moving. Keep going. Just don't stop. <laughs> there is nothing. There is absolutely nothing here. This is crazy. Um, still nothing on the scanner. This is being a um, a largish map. It makes it very difficult 
uh, to travel anywhere in any reasonable amount of time on a size 3 map we'd be well out of Xerox territory by now it'd be fine but um, I might equip instead of explosive charges equip the flashlight this might give us a better oh no that's just foggy <laughs> it's just hazing everything <laughs> fine was well, oh god we got a Xerox patrol ahead of us Let's try and skirt round uh, I think I see a silicon rock I think I do. Oh, we have been spotted by a dog. Been spotted by two dogs. How am I? How have I not reloaded this gun? Where's the other one gone? Ow. He's a sniper. He's a sniper. I'm not avoiding you, am I? Get on the ground then. What ammo have I got left? I can't. Oh, 2,800 rounds. Okay, that's still pretty good. Okay. Uh, temperature is dropping again. Another coffee. I hope I'm just going in the right direction. I'm not even sure if I am. Um, Oh, there's more Xerox territory there, just there. Oh, God. This is not good. Anything. Anything. <laughs> no. Oh, damn it. I forgot that silicon rock back there. Uh, I need. I don't really need silicon rock. What I need is an iron rock. I mean, I'll, I'll regret saying that later when I'm out of silicon, I bet you. <laughs> but I uh, can't really deal at the moment. That's just a regular rock, which I am going to need at some point. Um, in order to turn into iron, silicon, copper rocks. There are iron, silicon, copper deposits on this planet. Um, but, yeah, it's huge. I'm not going to be able to find them realistically until I've got some kind of mode of transport. Uh, so we just need to keep moving, try and keep our body temperature up. Oxygen is becoming a thing. How many bottles of oxygen do I have? Not that many. Let's get started making some emergency O2. Until I find uh, iron ore, I can't make any of my little survival thingies. So, eyes peeled for... Oh! Oh, good. Oh, good. What the hell is that over there? Ow! Poisonous bite! Um, poisonous bite, poisonous bite, poisonous bite. Blue pill. Ah, Jesus, that tanked my food. <laughs> That's not good. Okay. I'll take it. What the devil is that? Is that the moon? It is the moon glowing in the distance there. Okay, fine. Um, we're nearly out of Xerox territory. I'm going to head more east this time. Because I, I realize I don't want to just go straight into more Xerox territory. So we're going to head more east. I hope we don't run into any more of those damn spider things. This is my last co coffee. Let's pick up this silicon rock here. Ah, you mother... Jeez! Cannot die. Must not die. Do not die. I mean, you die. I can't die. If I die... I mean, here is okay, actually. I could just respawn in current thing rather than fresh start. That would be bad. That would be really bad. Don't see any more of those damn bastards anywhere, but then, you know, can't really see much. Can't really see much. Are you an iron rock? Oh, hello, cheeky. I have never been happier to see an iron rock before. <laughs> oh, simple things. Right, um... Oh, let's pop you down here, because you're like, nice little light, look at that, beautiful. Oh, oh my lord. Okay, food, it's a thing. Um, I have a ration pack, I have lots of these. 
So an iron rock, a iron rock, three iron rocks rather, can actually uh, manufacture me a portable constructor, which is fantastic. Um, I need to ditch something. I don't know what to ditch. Oh, wait, well, we've got another two water bottles there. So if I make them, that'll free up an inventory slot, won't it? Hmm. Oh, it's dark and horrible, ladies and gents. It's dark and horrible. Let's just wait for this water bottle to consume, and then I can pick this up. There we go. Okay, continue east. Dog. Oh, Jesus. Why am I constantly reloading it seems? Nice of a pulse laser uh, pulse rifle, I guess. Just uh, so chaotic. Right, where is your master? That's what I wanna know. The guy with a gun. Right now, I am very glad that these guys turn and run when you shoot them, and uh, and don't actually gang up on you and instantly gank you. That would be bad. Right. Now these guys do usually come with a Xerox handler. Oh, where the hell is he? I mean, it's fine. Ooh, hello, precious. I don't have any more coffee. So hopefully this will let me build a heater. Nearly out of Xerox territory. Everything is low. Everything is low. Let's see more of those goddamn cave worm things. Ah, oh, damn it. Not good. Ah, oh, even worse. Timing. Bad timing. Ah. Oh. Jeez. Bad times, bad times, bad times. Really cold now. Didn't I unlock these things? I have unlocked them, so why can't I build them? Iron ore is not in my inventory, something else is. Um, I don't know, just, just put something in there so that I can build these things. Give me a heater, please. I'm freezing. <sighs> I need to warm up. Damn it, it's taking too long. Hypothermia is kicking in. I'm gonna gonna tank my uh, food until I can fix that. Now I'm freezing. Four degrees centigrade. Hypothermia freezing. Come on, man. Build that damn thing faster. <laughs> Can't deal with this. I'm on the edge of Xerox Empire territory. I've gotten this far. <laughs> No. Oh wow. <laughs> that really highlights the uh, the world, doesn't it? Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Build me that goddamn heater. Thank you. Oh. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> uh, we do the oxygen generators as well. This is where things get a bit ropey we need to continue east anything on the scanner still nothing absolutely nothing wow okay well, here we are ladies and gentlemen this is the dark rogue start you're afraid of the dark oh my god <laughs> This is not the start for you. What is that? That is different from everything else up ahead. I'm seeing like red patches on the ground. That could be a thermal springs. It's possible. 
It could be nothing as well. It's entirely possible to be nothing. Okay, we have got silicon rocks, iron rocks, everything rocks. This is good. I need these. Well, what I do need to do is uh, kill these guys. No, I was jumping. Stop being able to shoot or hit around corners. It is not fair. Right, okay, so I'm on a little red patch here, but there's more that way. If I can head over there and get there before things become, I mean, they're already pretty desperate anyway, but <laughs> more desperate. Things become more desperate, then I'll be all right. I need to put a tent down in order to create a respawn point. Uh, so that I can die in peace. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to survive. I'm not sure it's worth trying to. Do you know what I mean? I mean, the game... If, I don't know, it feels cheesy. What do you guys think? Should I just let myself die just so I can refill my stats? I suppose it's personal kind of target of oneself. You know, do you play to not die or do you play to just get as far as quickly as possible? Because... There is no real penalty of dying, especially when you're out in the wilderness like this. It doesn't really matter, um, rather than sort of personal kind of objective. I, I never like, I like to play usually to try and survive. You know, so far I've done that. I could have died multiple times. I let myself die multiple times, but I've healed wounds, I've healed injuries and, um, and stuff like that. But it gets to a point where I'm like, Christ, you know, I could be... Using my oxygen up here to um, keep me going a little bit longer. Show all those bandages I had when I started. I had tons. <laughs> They're all gone. I used them all. Oh dear. Um. Yeah. What do you guys do? Do you just let yourself die and and pick up and carry on, or do you play to survive? As long as possible. Jesus. This is so dark. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Okay, I think just over there is a red patches on the ground, which is, I think, what I'm in now, which is the dust bowl um, biome. And I think it's not the geothermal vents, as I'd hoped. Oh, God. Yep, they spotted me. Ah. Uh, Constantly reloading this damn thing. Where is my stamina? <sighs> oh, God! Constantly reloading, constantly reloading, constantly reloading. Blue pill. Tanks my food. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're not. You're fine. You're not a danger. All right. It's just these guys. <laughs> I'm out of shotgun shells. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> if it isn't the Xerax, I'm in trouble now. I'm out of shotgun shells. I tell you, because that is my. That's my backup. That's my case of emergency kind of thing, that is. In case of emergency, whip out the shotgun and blast whatever it is in the face. Should probably set up camp. Uh, I was hoping to find a geothermal vent, but honestly, or something, something somewhere. But yeah, we're almost here now. These rocks are kind of like what we need. Because we're going to have to chew these up, like I said before, in order to turn them into the resources we need. Oh my god, my stamina is just non-existent. I guess I just have to walk slowly then. <laughs> okay, what we got here then? This seems colder and colder. Minus 50 here. Right on the edge of this biome. I kind of don't want to go down there. It looks really far down. 
And I think actually it's no different from where I am at the moment. Um, so let's head towards those little peaks over there. It's possible that they're like geothermals, I guess. So if we can find those, then we can be warm. We won't freeze. There's some pentaxid over there. Oh, now I'm getting some radiation all of a sudden. Is that because of where I wandered into? Or because that pentaxid crystal is in a biome that's highly radioactive? I can't pick up any more inventory full. Damn. Yeah, I'm out of I'm out of space. There are 28 iron rocks on me. I don't think I'm going to get any more. Okay. We need, I think we're nearly, possibly nearly... Ah, uh, copper, look. Copper! Just as my inventory fills up. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe... No, I can't pick these up. Right, okay, fine. Maybe this will have to do then. There's copper, there's iron here. We're on the edge of a radiation field mine, but it's okay here. Um, this will have to do. Ladies and gents, welcome to base camp. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's get this thing running. So, um, <sighs> some fuel, get some O2 out of it. Let's start loading up this portable constructor with resources that we can use to build stuff. And we can go and collect the other stuff that we don't need to have on us. All right, let's pop a light down. Some copper ore. Oop. Another light down. Wow, okay, let's maybe, um, maybe point that that way. <laughs> that, that is an insane lamp, that is. <laughs> That's quite good. Right, steak. Let's get you making some steak before this stuff goes off. Uh, medicines, um, I mean, we're not going to find plant fibers, and so I don't think my supply of bandages is ever going to be replenished. But, I mean, we've still got some meds on us that's fine don't need the plasma rounds because we haven't got a plasma cannon um pulse rifle i could probably swap to two pulse rifles so that i don't have to keep reloading okay tools well i could do with some shotgun shells we need more copper ingots we need nitrocellulose which is plant fiber there are no plants and stone so <laughs> How am I going to get plant fiber? <laughs> this is where I think, you know, there is going to be somewhere on this godforsaken world um, some form of plant, I think. Um, it's just a case of finding it, um, where it will be, I don't know. Or it might be that we need to dig up some... I don't know. Dig up some ruins? Some POIs, maybe? Get some rock. And start converting this into iron and stuff. Uh, and then I can make... So I can create another portable constructor, maybe. Turn the rock into more ores. So, for example, we're out of uh, copper. But, you know, one copper ore requires 15 of these. So I can build two of these at the moment. Lovely steaks, lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, let's put another three on me. Build another portable. Um, put them down there, we're gonna need that like now. We're gonna need a little HV, I think, in order to get around. Without getting A, ganked by those goddamn cave worm things. And B, without freezing to death every five seconds. So, it'll have to be a little HV. 
uh, with an enclosed cockpit. Let's do some unlocks. Um, so we've got small generator, small fuel tanks, which is fine. We're going to have an out two station on it. Uh, armor locker as well, because that'll probably be our only one. Bridge. If we can get a gap, lovely. Um, if we can get a detector, that would be amazing. Spotlights are definite. And I'm probably just going to run it on the little hover boosters for now. I don't think it would be worth having a gat on it at this time. So let's leave that off. Uh, second constructor is ready. Put you next to the other one. Have you got any O2 yet? You do. Thank you very much. Right, let's create a third. One, two, three. Third constructor. Right, you, good sir, are going to have... Let's have the copper... Um, sorry, not the copper, sorry, the crushed stone. We're going to put all the crushed stone in there, and we're going to use you to produce um, the ores that we need. I'll fill myself up on steak, as this stuff's going to expire fairly quickly. So I may as well just hop me. And I'm heating my body temperature up while I'm doing this as well, because it breaks at minus 40. Although I've got to be careful, because then I can get too hot. <laughs> Uh, that's fine, it's not going to last very long. And there you go. Okay. Uh, let's have a little bit of a hip floor. Uh, oh, God. God damn you guys. Okay. God, oh God, oh God. No! Oh! I dropped one of my guns. I don't know how I did that, because I literally just scrolled my mouse wheel and for some reason it just threw one of them on the ground. I think my character was so desperate that... <laughs> Respawning Sanctuary in Yui, I mean that's... Why am I getting that option? There's a completely different planet. That is... That's, that's not even... That's not even the same planet. Oh, copper rock, lovely. <laughs> All right, now I've got to get my. There are some resource rocks here. That's that's pretty much what I was looking for, right? Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, that's the wrong gun. That's definitely the wrong gun. Ah, oh, Jesus. These things can fuck off. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've got to find my other gun that I dropped somewhere around here. <laughs> I just don't know where it is. And it's going to be like this small black thing somewhere on the ground in this sea of dark. Um, no idea. No idea where that's gone. Well, I have no idea where that went. It, it's gone. It's gone. That gun is toast. <laughs> it's, it's gone. Somewhere out there. It's too late. Um, well, I mean, I've kind of failed. <laughs> I failed on my mission to not die at the start of this thing. The goddamn cave worms got me. Hey, worms are all bloody thing. Once I get a little HV, I'll be fine. Um, I just need more resources to build it. And where I was over here, came down the hill, there was a bunch of resources up the hill. Uh, but it's so difficult to know... Why is the camp waypoint? Uh, I suppose it's in the rough region. Um, it's like, why is the camp waypoint so far off? Uh, I suppose it's in the right ish area. Um, here we go. These are the resources I found. This is what I need. So, more iron rocks. There's a copper rock there. You can't see me, you can't see me, you can't see me, you can't see me, you can't see me. You saw me, you saw me, you little bastard, haven't you?
I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. <laughs> oh, damn it. Do you know what I've forgotten to bring with me? Uh, it's my little heater. <laughs> uh, so, it's kind of pointless, isn't it? Heat. Steaks heat me up, though. Seems to be all that I can eat at the moment. Steaks. <laughs> I thought this bloody work lamp. It's like a beacon. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> it's probably not a great idea. <laughs> Give me the Xerax presence. Oh, there he is. Great. Right, me other constructor is ready. I'm not quite sure what to do with this one yet, but you know, I've got three now, so it's fine. You're still running, although you will need. Uh, I'm not sure using biofuel is a good idea, but that's all I've got. So. That's what I'll have to use. Um, okay, so we've got some more copper. We've got some iron. There is not much silicon going on. So can we build... Can we build a hover vessel starter block? Yeah? Brilliant. Perfect. And what we do need is these things, but they require motors, and motors require what? Nanotubes. <laughs> Nanotubes require carbon substrate. And carbon substrate requires plant fibers. We are in big doo-doos here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sure where to get plant fibers from, but they are quite a vital uh, ingredient to making a vehicle of some sort. So I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to do it, but maybe. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> Fine. Damn you. <laughs> All right, well, fine. Once you get a motorbike, I guess we can uh, we can travel a bit further. I think that's where these mountains are that I can see in the, in the very, very, very distant. Um, is there a little pingy thing here? No. No, not at all. Um, what might be quite good, I suppose, is if I can get... I can get a multi-tool with multi-chargers. Lovely. Promethium pellets ten. That's gonna it's gonna take all of everything I've got. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is what it has come to. This bloody horrible planet has forced me to get on this bloody th Oh my god. <laughs> Where do we go? Who knows? But as soon as we hit any kind of hill. The damn thing near near on near completely stops really. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drive a bit, ping, drive a bit more, pick up some resources, drive a bit more, ping. <laughs> Here we go. Am I going in the right direction? I am. Going towards these mountains. What I just noticed? I have. There we go. Find your equipment. I've done that. I can't take that one off. Do I get any rewards for these? Equip your armor. Escape. Escape the planet. <laughs> yeah, okay. Haven't done that one yet. Fair enough. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen. In the bleak darkness of this existence, it is time to end today's episode. Uh, I'm on the sort of cusp of a little biome change, but I don't think it's any different from that biome over there, just quite a bit larger, maybe. I'm hoping to find something, some kind of encampment, ruin, um, anything that's going to be able to give me some plant fibers. If I can find some bloody trees to chop down, I'll be happy. Plant fiber, without it, I'm screwed. I can't even make... Um, some hover vessel, hover thingy majiggies, anything. How I'm going to be able to make uh, electronics for thrusters and other such stuff, I don't know. The other option, of course, is whatever Xerax thing is up here. Maybe, maybe that's what I need to go and deal with. Um, but hopefully, we'll find out in the next episode. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and hopefully, I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye bye. <laughs>